Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Monster Hunter World. So I figured we'd take another stab at the Tempered Devil Joe. Haha, <laughs> get it? Stab at the Devil Joe. Alright, I'll, I'll see myself out. I was gonna kill myself later anyway. So, uh, so this is quite um, a better run than the last one I posted. So, today I'm using the Love Sorrow Lance, which is the Valhazak Lance. And I think it actually performs a lot better against Devil Joe. So it's a Dragon Lance, and the thing about it is that it has quite a good amount of white sharpness with Handicraft. Oh, don't you love that when you get the evade bonus and the evade doesn't quite work? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so the Love Sorrow is quite effective against Devil Joe. It, you know, it has Dragon Element, um, has good sharpness, and also it has a uh, level two slot on it, so it's quite easy to gem in whatever you need. Like, uh, it's really easy to fit in, you know, um, protective polish or guard up like onto this set. Yeah, and I'll show the set at the end like I usually do, but yeah. Um, pretty much exact same tactics as before. This set tends to lean more towards Critical Eye to get more affinity. Uh, and that, that Tailspin is still a problem. <laughs> uh, but aside from that, we actually only have Guard 3 on this set. Because I find that if you can use Power Guard effectively against Tempered Joe, you don't really need any more than Guard 3. And I, I did experiment a little bit on the live stream using no guard on him, and uh, I got murdered pretty good <laughs> like after that. I guess you guys can go check it out if you want, but yeah, if, if you're using no guard, you're, you basically have to move completely differently. It, it's definitely possible to win without guard. I mean, I, I, still, I still beat him without guard, I just died twice, but you know, I uh, may as well fit in a little bit of guard just to make your defensive timing more efficient. Yeah, and I... I'm a little bad at the counterattacks on Joe because his... Ah, God, the, the tailspin got me again. Yeah, when you're counterattacking Joe, um, you, you, you really want to take your time and aim your counterattack from your power guard because uh, his, his body shape is a little strange and it, it's quite easy to miss his weak spots. And... Yeah, because he's so tall, it's, it's pretty easy to just miss him entirely. Oh, and I am using Whitefish Fins again. I, I, I actually ended up using so many of them against Tempered Joe that I ran out. Like, that means I used over a hundred of them. <laughs> and I had to go farm for more of them, which was a big pain in the butt. And I really wish there was a way you could farm for, you know, fish scales and stuff like that. But all you can really do is just straight up fish with it. Wow, I... I'm really surprised that managed to catch him. Yeah, so Joe actually has two different counter attacks. Uh, one for when he's, you know, regular, and then a more, um, a, a, a bigger wind-up one for when he's raged. And if you manage to do enough damage to him during the counter, uh, he'll actually be stunned and it'll give you a pretty good opening for just dealing damage to him. Okay, that... why did that miss? Yeah, so... When he is not raged, uh, pretty much the easiest weak spot you have access to is his legs, so I'm just pretty much aiming for that. Yeah, and then when he's mad, like, I, I'm just trying to aim for that little spot between his arms. Okay, so that was the, the counterattack when he's raged, and when you stun him during it, it automatically knocks him back out of rage. So that can be really useful to know. Um, so you can basically just control his temperament with that. It's very easy for Lances to get the counter on, on that attack. But if you're actually running a set with Agitator, you might consider just, you know, blocking the hit and letting it slide. Because, you know, if you knock him out of rage, you're going to lose the attack buff and the critical buff you get from Agitator. Yeah, but when Joe is non-raged, it actually... Like, if you're f mainly focusing on his legs and you keep him suppressed out of rage mode, it, it makes it so that you don't have to worry about all the different weak spots too much. Just aim for his legs. 
Yeah, it's sort of annoying that when he's out of rage, the weak spot on his stomach goes away, and that's just... That's really unfortunate. Okay, so I think what I was saying earlier is that when you're fighting Tempered Joe, this this guy just has so much HP and the engagements with him last so long that you really need some sort of plan to manage your sharpness or else you're gonna be in a bad situation. I mean, you can kind of engage him with green sharpness, but there are parts of him that will cause you to bounce in green and that can be seriously fatal if you screw that up. So my strategy here is, um, well, I have Handicraft 4 on this set. This gives me a good chunk of white sharpness with this lance. And then, uh, well, I have Protective Polish to maintain my sharpness for 60 seconds. And then on top of that, I have my Whitefish Fins, which allows me to sharpen with two strokes. And that's essentially how I'm managing my sharpness. And I, I'm not using a ghillie mantle or flash bombs to like stun him for an opening to sharpen. Basically, uh, since I can always land my counters against his counter attacks, I know exactly when I can stun him to create an opening to sharpen. So that's that's a pretty easy way to handle your sharpness management against Tempered Joe. Yeah, and you know why run after him when you can lance charge? <laughs> that's always fun. Okay, so he ran off to the second area, and I'm just gonna reapply some of my buffs. Yeah, he should be ready to capture in a little while, so I'm gonna get my shock trap ready here. Ah, damn tailspin. Oh yeah, and I don't know why, but I completely forgot to mention that uh, I got a few hero stones out of this guy, so I actually augmented this lance for a health regen, and it's really changed the way I play this game. Like. Um, Normally against Tempered Joe, I would use some Vitality Jewels to increase my HP bar. But if you have health regen, like if you can keep up your offensive, you don't really need Vitality Jewels. So I was free to pretty much use my slots for Critical Eye and try to get more affinity out of that. Wow, that looks super weird. Yeah, so pretty much if you can maintain an offensive on Devil Joe and just hit his weak points, um, you're not really in danger of getting two shot from him. And you really shouldn't be getting one shot either. But yeah, like, uh, so he hit me earlier and I'm pretty much almost at full health again. Okay, so he managed to counter Joe and he's down. Yeah, so here I find that it's easiest to try to hit him in the head and then the uh, the, f the finishing thrust from the lance charge does pretty good damage against him. Okay, so there's that Aptanoth on the ground. He was just eating through my sharpness. That was pretty annoying. Okay, managed to knock down Joe. Aptanoth, get out of the way. Okay, there's the swagger hit. That I hear that hit kills a lot of people. Oh, uh, looks like Joe's ready to capture already. Okay, this. Alright, got an opening. Traps down. Drink bombs. Alright, we got him. Okay, so our time was 8 minutes 37 seconds. That's. That's pretty damn good. I think, um. I think this is actually pretty close to Lance White Knight's speed run. Um, he got around. Like right at right around eight minutes, but you know, I'm pretty sure he could drop his time by maybe another minute or two if he really tried. <laughs> but yeah, for a uh, yeah for a really mediocre player for myself, um, this is a pretty good time, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay, so it looks like I got a wyvern gem and some shining stream stones. Let's see what this is. Uh, another sword hero stone. Great. <sighs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with the time. And I'm kind of tired of fighting Double Joe, so I think we'll just leave it at that. Alright guys, that's it for this hunt. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.